You know, there comes a time in your life when you have to ask yourself, is the content that I'm creating, is it benefiting anybody? Are, is there any value? Uh, is it changing someone's life? You know, and I've had to ask myself that on numerous occasions. And because I wondered, and I, I really have, I've wondered a lot if what I'm doing is even, is it worth it? So in this video, we're going to find out. Welcome to Retro Reviews, where we take the guesswork out so you don't have to. My name is Richard, and I am here to talk to you today about, is it worth it? By the way, feel free to follow us on Twitch. We stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Link is in the description below. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to us. And let's get started. In all my years of doing YouTube and live streaming and such, I have asked myself time and time again, is this worth it? Is it? Am I really making a purpose out of what I do? Am I am I genuine enough? Am I good enough? You know, because I look at my subscriber count. I know it's not all that great. And you know, I, I yeah. Do I want to be up there with the big wigs? Of course I do. You know, so then I always then I ask myself, okay, what can I do to make it better? What can I do to to drive more traffic to my channel to to the cause of what I have? You know, and, and then it comes to me where it doesn't matter. As long as you enjoy what you do, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what your numbers are, what your count is, because you still enjoyed it. But, you know, as I've grown and I've went to conventions and stuff like that, and I've gotten to meet some absolutely amazing people, I cannot say enough that it's that one fan that you get, you know, the one that you, that, that, obs that, obs oh, oh, in certain fields, I've seen them to be obsessive fans or over compulsive fans or obnoxious, you know, but they're still a fan nonetheless. And, you know, you can't push one off for the other as we'd all like to have that perfect fan, but you still keep that smile on your face. You still keep it going because you never know when it's, what's going to happen. And in my field, I have met so many amazing people. I don't look at any fan as, oh my God, oh God, here comes Steve or or whoever. You know, I'm just making up random names. You know, I, I, I cherish every fan and every friendship that I acquire from these fans. And I cherish them deeply because, you know, without them, I wouldn't be here today. I wouldn't be making these videos and doing the things that I do. So, you know... The other day, I had a fan hit me up on Messenger saying, hey, I'm sending you something in the mail. Yeah, I've had people tell me that in the past, but, you know, it's whatever. And they did. They sent me something. And, you know, I was shocked that I had something. You know, I, here it is. I open up my mailbox, and there's a package in there waiting for me. And I'm like, Ooh, this isn't a bomb, is it? <laughs> but it wasn't. You know, I didn't get that lucky. Um, but, no, it was actually amazing just to see that that they actually did what they said they were going to do. So as I'm sitting there and I open up the package, out rolls out a note, which most people don't do anymore. Most people don't read notes or write notes, you know? And so to me, I was excited, you know? And so I, I opened up the note and I'm going to show you what this fan did for us, for me, for my little man, you know, because again, I love everything, and I will do a video every single time somebody sends us something. Why? Because it means that much to us. It means that much to me. Because I, that means I have a fan that is a true enough friend to send me something, to take time out of their day, to send me something, to, to enjoy my time and my work enough that they actually wanted to take their time to do something for us. So, it says... Dear Richard, hope everything is well. Hope you and Cecil are safe on your trips. My reason for writing is my way of thanking you for being a friend and showing support. I know, I know we don't get to see each other much, but I do cherish the friendship we have and you'll always have my support. Hopefully you'll rise higher and higher with your business. Maybe when you get back to town, we can do a shoot together. Been wanting to do one with you because I hardly see your work. I don't know why she could go on my page. But 
It's okay. We'll talk about that later, Sarah. And she goes on to saying, I know this isn't much, but this crystal is for you. The crystal is most likely a form of blue sapphire. The crystal is known for serenity, peace of mind, concentration, and multi-dimensional cellular healing. Please enjoy Bubba Fest. And she did send me two other ones. And I have to get one was for Cecil and one for, was for Miss DK Grimes. Um, so I have to remember to get those over to them. Um, I just forgot to take them with me on the trip. So my apologies, sir. I didn't forget. I promise. They do know about them, though. Um, be safe and hope to see you soon. Your friend, Sarah. And again, that... You know, that to me was an amazing, just the letter was, I was excited, you know, was, I don't, you don't get that anymore. And so when I opened up the package, this is what she had sent us, this beautiful crystal. Now, I don't know what kind of crystal it is, not sure what it does, hopefully it doesn't do much, but look pretty, but thank you, Sarah. Again, we, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. This is an awesome thing to have, and I promise you, I already have a hook in the back, right behind me, where it will be up and hanging for everyone to see. Because without fans like you, I'd give up. When I go to these conventions, and I get to see my fans, and, you know, they, they are just friends. People that I've gotten to know over the years. You know, that every time, you know, we go to MegaCon or we go to Fan Expo or Walker Stock or whatever, you know, to see the looks on your faces, and even my face, whenever we get to see each other again, that's what I look forward to. So, again, I want to thank you so, so dearly much for this amazing necklace. Unfortunately, I have a really, really, really big head, so it won't even come close to going on. And, uh... But I, I promise you it will hang right back here on my shelf with all my other beauties. And uh, it will be in every one of our live streams and videos from now on. So again, thank you so very much. And again, keep transforming. <laughs>